guys, how's it going? It's Ben Colin the Baking. In this video, we're going to be making Michael Myers. Michael Myers is one of my favourite Halloween characters of all time. Me and my mum used to watch all of these films when I was younger. My mum loves horror films and um, he's one of her favourite characters. She actually requested this cake this year. I think she requests it most years. So I'm going to show you guys how I made it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to take some vanilla cake and I'm just going to stack it up into a sort of basic head shape. I'm going to be adding more detail using sugar paste so you don't have to be too perfect with this. Just get that basic head shape. It's always good to cut in some holes where the eyes are going to be just to give that depth when you do cover it with the sugar paste. I'm going to cover the whole thing with chocolate ganache. So now it's time to start adding Michael's features. I'm using sugar paste to do this. So just really slowly, this is a good way of doing it. Build up the sugar paste before you do that outer layer. So you can take your time. Don't worry if it gets messy, if you get chocolate on it. This bit isn't going to be the final coat. Just slowly build up the face to try and capture those features of Michael's. And then when you're happy with it, spray the whole thing with water and then just drape over the final coat of sugar paste and start to re-put in those details where you've put the little shapes underneath. Now you can start to add more finer details using your Dresden tool. These details that you're putting in now are going to be the ones that are going to be seen. The sort of Michael mask I wanted to do was more of the recent one, so it's been battered. Years of spooking people on Halloween has took its toll on this mask, so that's the look I'm going for. To get that, when I put all the details in, the texture, I spray the whole thing with black airbrush colour. Then just spray it all again with water and take it all off with a paper towel. What this does is it just leaves the black. So the basic outer coat looks white, but then all the little texture and details that you've done have still got that black airbrush colour in there. Once that's all dry, um, from the water that I sprayed, then I'm going to just go in with the final details with my airbrush. I've put some black in the airbrush, but also I've put a little bit of yellow because I don't want that kind of blue black, I want the kind of yellow black. I don't know the correct term for it, but there are sort of different types of black, isn't there? There's more that have got like a blue undertone and more that have got like a yellow undertone. And I want this sort of yellow undertone for this, more of a dirty, like a brown. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to gently go through. Don't want to go over the top with this because the general look of the mask is white. But I just want to add those sort of details that are going to look like the years have took its toll, the dirt and stuff like that. And that's it guys, Michael Myers as a cake. I really, really enjoyed making this one. I've wanted to make it for years and finally I got round to it. When you see Michael Myers start to pop up on your social medias, you just know Halloween is around the corner. Perfect for any Halloween parties or perfect even just to prank someone if you want to scare them. Just leave it sort of in the dark, bit of a light shining on it. They'll be scared. And you know the thing with Michael Myers, even if you've cut and ate this cake, he's still going to be alive. We all know that. Thanks very much guys, thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a happy Halloween, and as always, I'll see you all on the next cake video.